Hello YouTube. Well, happy Saturday everybody. Not sure who all has got off Monday. I do, luckily. For the holiday, President's Day. But um Sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background, she's up there. Her and my wife are doing something, playing around. <laughs> But uh, smoking my ginger's favorite, which I got on um, uh, Valentine's Day at our local pop sh pipe shop, our local B&M. Um, still didn't really get any new tobacco in. They only have a couple tins up there and some bulk stuff that I don't really care for, you know, the Lena and Sutliff stuff. But um, they did get a shipment. I mean, literally, as I was walking in, they were unloading the box of pipes. So I got first pick, and this was my pick. Worked out good, too. I had a gift card and everything. I mean, obviously, whenever you go to a B&M, you're going to pay more than you would order off one of those um, online box stores. But, you know, the gift card helped to take the pain away from that. But it worked out. I'm loving this pipe, by the way. So, anyways, in it is... Uh, Davidoff Flake Medallions. And uh, sorry if there's glare on everything. I uh, just installed a new light up ahead. Put LED in it. It's very bright, so might be some glare on stuff. But um, if it's too glary, let me know. And I'll, uh, you know, get a uh, not as bright light, I guess. But anyways, this was the older tin. This is the last older tin I have. Uh, when I say older, you can see it's from 917. The back, there's no description on it. <laughs> just a code for the um, date date stamp and stuff. Um, from what I understand, it's still made by the same company, uh, made in Denmark. So yeah, it says right on there, up top, still made in Denmark, but this is one of the newer tins. Um, I got this at, uh, um, man, what is it called now? Cigar Realm in Ashland, Virginia. Um, Got some of these up there, and then I stocked up when they went on sale, too. So I got, I don't know, I think five or six more tins of these. Um, this stuff ages really, really well. Like I guess this is from 17, and it's just getting really, really ripe right now. So, and there's no description on the new tins. It just says it on the old tin on the front. It says, flake cut of finest Virginia and Perique tobaccos with a core of black Cavendish. And it's very little black Cavendish. Let me pop it open for you so you can see. Comes in uh, this nice little one piece of paper. One piece of paper for less than CMD. And that's what it looks like. You can see it's nice golden orangey and uh, color with, I'll pull one of these out. And it's a little stuff stuck to it. But uh, as you can see there, core of Black Cavendish. Um, like I said, it's not a lot of, of Black Cavendish, just enough to, in my opinion, just give it a little bit of that sweet candied flavor that Cavendish brings, in my opinion, when it ages. Um, it's not flavored, I don't think. Didn't taste like it. Not sure exactly what they Cavendish, but uh, right off the bat, when you like this, you get a nice bright Virginia. I mean, this is a nice little, little tiny bit of fruit, a little bit of floralness. Um, it's not a dark fruit; it's more of a lighter fruit. A um, little bit of hay-like sweetness to it, but not. It's not real hay-like. If you're one of those people that doesn't like a lot of hay, it's not that bad. It's more. I would say floral-esque, just sweet all around than anything. And the perique in this one is peppery. It's got a peppery perique in it. It's not too spicy, but it's kind of a combination of like the black and red pepper in here to me. On the retro hail, you get a little bit of spice, not too much. I'd say maybe three and a half to four on spice. So it's definitely there, but It's not enough where it's like burning me a lot. 
or anything like that. Um, it's not a real plummy perique. Some of the perikes can get plummy and stuff. Um, this one to me just ages well because it just smooths out. Um, you taste that stuff, but it's not like a lot of rough edges on it. I don't, I don't really like it fresh, to be honest with you. I'm the same way with Escudo, though. Some people love Escudo fresh. I don't like it until it gets about five years of age on it, personally, because then it starts getting that breadiness to it. This doesn't get real bready. I don't know if it's because it has the Cavendish and stuff in it, but... Um, and also, too, I need to look more up online on it, because it doesn't say much on it, what exactly if they topped it with anything. Not sure if they really did, but if, if they did, it would be some kind of fruit thing, I think. But I'm not really getting uh, like hits of rum flavor or anything like that in this. It's more tobacco flavors. Let me see. But I know when I first opened it, and especially when tobacco ages, especially Virginia's, you get that nice, just bright, like almost like a juicy fruit type of smell, you know? It's like a fruity type of smell to it, which I really like. You can see it's starting to, the crystals are starting to form in this already. Um, like I said, this tin will definitely be going up on the wall. Because I really like the old style tin, how they stamped it on there like that. It's it's not a sticker. This is not a sticker. This is like, you know, however they did it. But uh, the new one's just a, just a label, you know, peel on. And it's got that stupid warning on it, which, you know, none of us like that, of course. But, uh, but yeah, this is a really good tobacco, in my opinion. Um... If it's not a top 10 all, all time one, it's close to it. It's top 20 easy. Where it's one of those tobaccos where it's not too mild. It's got plenty of flavor, but it's not too overwhelming either. It's nice medium, I would say, all around. Um, probably medium in strength, just uh, medium in flavor. Mouth feels the same way. It's neither real, real airy, but it's not real, real chewy smoke either. Um, so I would say it's really just a medium all around smoke. So it's one that some people can smoke all day. Not sure if this would be an all day smoke to me. Um, something a little lighter like Hollow the Wind, Rat Race Hollow the Wind would be an all day smoke for me. This is more, you can, I can smoke this after a meal. I can smoke this before a meal. I can smoke this in the morning. I can smoke this, I can smoke this pretty much any time. But I don't think it would be one of those ones where I'd smoke it all day long if I was, was smoking three or four pipes. But um, it's really good. I mean, I feel like a lot of people don't really know about Davidoff stuff. Um, this, to me, is the only tobacco they have that I've tried that I like, really. But they don't really have a lot of pipe tobaccos. I think they maybe have five or six. Um, the ones I've seen, anyways, that they sell. That's all I've seen, but... They have like a white one, a blue one. They have like two English O's, Scottish or whatever, whatever they call it. Two aromatics, I think, and this one. But this is just a style that I like. Um, like right there, that hit definitely got some plumminess in there. Um, so as you smoke it, it kind of develops a little bit. I would say the spice kind of goes away a little bit. And then you start getting a little bit more of the, a little bit more darker fruit because you don't really get any dark fruit at first. Yeah, the, the perique kind of, I think, is stepping up. But like I said, that cat, that little bit of Cavendish flavors in there too. I'm trying to sip slow on it, especially when you sip slow on it. Like most Virginia Pariks, you kind of need to sip them slow. Um, the only thing I could compare this to, if you guys have had the, um, I want to say it's New, new Mister, New Minster, I'm sorry, Superior Rounds. It's very similar to that. And just like those that age as well, but kind of has a little rough edges fresh. So if you guys have had this one, let me know. And if you haven't had it, let me know if you plan on getting it. But um, probably should have dried it. Didn't dry it. I went ahead and just opened this up and I just wanted to open up something and uh, I hadn't reviewed yet and I got some tobaccos in there. I kind of wanted to open to put on the wall <laughs> and this was one of them. So anyways, this is JC again.
Let me know if you've had this one or what your thoughts of uh, 